another long video. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Down the Waterhole where drinks are drunk. Today it is a Candy Cabana. The reason why I chose Candy Cabana is because the products are down here. Yes. Today Kit Kat Chunkies have relaunched their Chunky Champion promotion. And the reason is because we have all four. Today we're taking a look at these four entrants in the long running range to see which ones are pretty good. Let's take a peek at the entries for this second annual competition. First off is the already established. We have mint. Mint is already is a common flavor in the two finger variety and that's kind of much it. Next up is a staple of uh, the nut variety, hazelnut flavor. Next up is an ever evolution of the of the top of the of the double chalk flavor, but more on the popular chalk fudge. And finally, to complete this all running around, consisting of three established chalk of nuts, chocolate, and mint, we have the outsider, coconut. Joy. Anyway. I think we'll now. Here's the first. No, this is this review will be taking a look at all four, sample each one, and then if it comes to it, if I'm gonna be interrupted anytime soon. Yes, yes, no, good, sharp. Here's what we're gonna do. This is sort of what I did last time. I take all. I try all four. Reach comparison. Give my personal opinion, and then actually bitch on who is actually in front, which is going to be surprising considering it's the most easiest one. Anyway, I put them over here, and now I'm going to try each of them separately and review them and separate do them separately and critically, you know, and all that schmack. Anyway, opening up the mint flavor. I already smell it already. Jeez, that's strong. Anyway. Not a strong mint, but I'm surprised. Usually when it comes to mint, it kind of blows a mug. I'm not a fan of mint. See, let's take a look at what the mint does contain. Does it contain green on the inside, or is it just chocolate? Actually, that's interesting, because there's nothing inside. Take a look for yourselves. There's nothing indicating if there's mint. Which is the most intriguing. Alright, so if it's not variable, it's got, it's in the chocolate. I know, it's the mint in the chocolate. Well, that might be why. That could be an evolution of the uh, chocolate. I mean, shut up, dog. Silence, I'm trying to do a review here. Alright, so let's start off. This is. Excuse me! Interrupting punchline! Thank you. Anyway, this is a uh, Chuck Mint. This is Kit Kat Chucky Mint. Not bad. Not great. I would actually see. I would actually see this on the market if it could. Mint's getting a bit stronger, but that's understandable. It's mint. Mm. Not bad. Oh, God. Three out of five for this one. It's not my favourite, but it's definitely middle of the road. Right. Next one. Hazelnut. I think this actually would have been would have been my preferred choice, considering there are a lot of hazel there are a lot of nuts in the market. Okay. Let's take a whip. Hmm. Smells like a shrek of the chocolate bar. Sounds like a good thing. Hey. 
any different sign? Oh, I see where the hazelnut is. It's like the caramel. It's it's uh, it's the hazel. The flavoring's on top of the um. It's like the caramel and the cat, the caramel, the crunch, any other fudge, and uh, mostly nut. And it, it's on top, so it's like the peanut butter. So that just smells a bit sweet than most. Okay, considering I hated the peanut butter, yeah, it won. Let's take a try. He, is this hazelnut? Oh, I just held it. I can taste the nut. Yeah. A bit nutty for me. Mm. It's a lot of things nut. Actually, so I'm doing this. That's slightly better than the peanut butter. Yeah, hazelnut is an established nut. It's actually somewhat better. It's better than pe it's actually as good as peanut butter. A little bit over, but not too under. That's a four to five. Next up, the chuck fudge. Or as I like, or as I like to call it, my fate. Or as I like to call it, the frickin' pre fate the freak, the established pre favorite. Oh yeah, the fudge is on top of the uh, wafer, as expected. It forms a nice barrier. Pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, let's try this. This is chalk fudge. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's fucking gorgeous. I can see why this is a fucking shop proof. This is a favorite. Oh, oh, this is really good. You definitely work as a frickin' um, cut flavor, Mr. Kick, Mr. Chop Fudge. Way better than that double chop shit. Sorry, my bad. That's my favorite of the bunch so far. Four and a half out of five. My teeth are killing me. Which is not good considering I got the last of the tray. Final one, ladies and gentlemen. The one I really, everyone knows this show has got no favorites in coconut. I survived. I so survived two, survived the Coco Rico, survived three, I basically survived Kari's a package of pain, which contained three coconut products. Now we got manufactured. Now this is the thing, because people are going to assume that this is a combination of a bounty and a Kit Kat. It's not. Bounties are bounties for a reason. And the bounties are already disgusting. This has already got a not good look, so let's... Right. Looks just like the mint. Okay, I wonder if it's in the chocolate. Let's have a smell. Yeah, there's the coconut smell. It's in the chocolate. I got a feeling I'm not gonna like this one. I already earmarked this is the worst. Stop bitching, do it. It's coconut. I mean, you're not afraid of a fucking fruit. Better if they actually put some sort of like a pot, sort of a pot. If they did passion fruit, I would not fucking mind. Because usually it's like, it's like passion fruit. 
doesn't work at all. No, no, it just doesn't work. And it's chocolate. Well, that's a down, that's a downer of an ending there. First chocolate to get this. Coconut fails in every respect of everything. So already you're, so the best, so the best one is the chocolate fudge. Second place is the hazelnut. Third place is the mint. And last place is the coconut. Do you want to know the, do you want to know the scores at the moment since the kit just came out? The mint's winning. Why? But it is but but set but it's not far off because second place is Chuck Fudge. I would say Chuck Fudge is gonna be the winner. Because mint is a common flavour, and yet it's in the lead. Orange was in the last one. I preferred it. It still didn't make it. Didn't even come back as well. Oh, that coconut is disgusting. I'm sorry, anyway. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for another just to go down the waterhole. Till next time, see you on a new video. Bye.